mandatory credit Brad Benner USA Today Sports No matter how the Cavaliers are doing, one man always gets the blame or glory LeBron James. As the greatest player in the world, it's just a symptom of his own legacy. If the team does well, he'll get the praise for leading his teammates to greatness. But if the team plays poorly, the finger of blame will get pointed right in his direction. Now, with the Cavs currently reeling, the later of the two scenarios seems to be exactly what's happening now. James is getting a lot of heat for Cleveland's awful play. And even though he is the unrivaled leader of the franchise, is it warranted? Chris Paul certainly doesn't think so. If anything, CP says the team should stop taking his talents for granted you've got LeBron James over there in that locker room. You know what I mean? What else the man need to do? Paul said. Don't take it for granted, man, don't take it for granted. Whether you hate LeBron or not, Chris Paul has got a pretty valid point. The Cavs have hardly done anything to try and keep the king in town yet also do nothing when everyone begins to blame him for their downslide. How does that seem right? As things begin to heat up on all sides, the situation will be interesting to watch. Is it Splitsville for LeBron and the Cavs again? Or can they reconcile their badly torn relationship?